everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how I do a filbert brush style flower arrangement on this green glass bottle I'm going to be using a number 14 a magic filbert brush a number six floss one magic and a number eight deerfoot stippler my Westonia fine liner and all these are linked down below with affiliate links that you're welcome to purchase through if you want. I am going to be using all folk art paint, wicker white, happy green, autumn, or I'm sorry, autumn, excuse me, burnt umber, I don't know why I said that, uh, thicket, and yellow ochre. All right, so to begin, I'm going to you can do it one of two ways. You can go ahead and, and tap in the center, or you can go ahead and, and do the petals to the flower first. But I'm going to go ahead and, and tap in. Using my Deerfoot Stippler, I'm going to put the front part of the brush into the burnt umber, the back end into the wicker white, to kind of tap it off onto my plate, and then create the designs. I'm left-handed, so I always seem to go the same direction with my design. You can reverse them if you want. That's another thing, too, is if when you're creating my designs, if something doesn't feel right, it could be because I'm left-handed and you're going that direction, and you might need to reverse it if you're right-handed. Just so you know, in case it feels awkward, that could be the reason. Okay, now it doesn't matter if these are, the centers are exactly the way I want them to be at this point because I will be going back over them. This is just to get started with the design and give me a general layout. And on probably the next couple designs that I do that I paint are just going to be using three flowers. I don't know why I've gotten into that. I guess because I have to paint quickly my designs. But anyways, it's all good. All right, next thing I'm going to do, take my filbert brush and just put it with lots of yellow ochre. Now, you can do that, or you can go ahead and mix it at the same time with the white. I'm just going to go ahead and do it with just the yellow ochre right now, but I'm pushing down and pulling towards the center. Pushing down and pulling towards the center. And it doesn't matter if I go into the center at all because I am going to be tapping back over it again and that's okay. You can space these out some if you want. Leave a space in between or you can put them pretty close together like I just did on this one. Or again you can space them out and just have them like this up to you. And if you make them different sizes, that can give a neat um, look as well. You know, making some longer, some shorter. It doesn't really matter. However you want to do it is fine. So I'm just doing a, a few different options for you here as we're, yeah, I'm showing you. All right, so then I'm gonna go back in and stick my brush, same brush, didn't clean it off, just stick it into the wicker white. And I'm gonna go back over this. Now I can reload after each pull, or I can just keep going and see how far I get. By doing it this way, I am definitely giving it more coverage, more opaque coverage. You know, before it was very transparent, you could see through to the glass. And that's something that, you know, you just, you just want to make sure. It's real important when you're doing glass painting that the coverage, especially with this paint, you just don't have, you know, probably a good, I don't want to say durable surface, 
dur durable painting, I should say, if you don't put the paint on pretty thick. One of two things you could do is just keep doing like what I'm doing. You notice though that some of the paint does pull up, so you have to be careful. And I'm not too concerned about that since I'm actually just painting this for the video. But if you you know want this for a piece in your home or you're going to make gifts, and you know, make sure that you get good coverage. You want it to last. You know you really you really do. So even at this, if you think as it's drying, it's getting a little bit more transparent, go ahead and go back over it again. Give it an hour drying time or um, hit it with your heat gun, hair dryer, whatever you have. Or like I said, you can let it dry for about an hour or so and go back over it again. Just be careful. You might have to do light pressure so you don't pull the paint up. But right now I'm using my my fine liner and I'm just sticking it into the sides of the grains and just kind of pulling it. So with this I'm going to be pulling in my stems just like you're used to me doing. And I can come down here just a little swiggly. You don't have to have a stem. You can just do leaves around your designs if you want. Would be pretty with Oh, just some flowers and leaves around them. I think I just said stems, but anyhow, sorry about that. Okay, so then I'm going to go like this, pull out some extra little stems from the flowers. And then come up here, do the same thing. And you can split off, you know, do like a little extra pull, you know, towards the top here or out this direction if you didn't want it to be. And there you have that. Next thing I'm going to do is pick up my number six flat brush. I am not particular about how I load my brushes. Just do what works best for you. I can even add in a little bit of this yellow ochre as I go just to kind of change up the look of the flat or the leaves. Now I'm going to start saying flowers. All right, so here we go. I'm going to do some basic pulling, or not pulling, but wiggling. Oh, I said that either. Excuse me. All right, so you're just going to eyeball it and add them, add them where you want to put. And you can do this kind of a leaf where you just come back over. It's like it's a folded leaf. I'll just put a stem towards the bottom. Oops. Because the leaf is turned. And then you can create just some basic easy, easy, easy one stroke leaves. And come do just some quick little pulls from that. And then, <clears throat> see if I can do this without messing this paint up. It's kind of hard. You just have to be real careful when you do this. Because definitely can pull the paint right off. Right off. And I don't want to do that. So you can do it where there's dark on one side, there's light on the opposite side. Kind of gives it an interesting look that way. Can you come back 
in here with just the basic one stroke leaves. I'm sorry, I'm trying to make sure I'm on camera while I'm doing this too. If you don't like as many leaves as I'm creating here, that's fine. Just, you know, do what you need to. Make yourself happy. It's your piece of art. Leave it out. Add as, as much or as little. It doesn't matter. Again, I'm just, I'm just not picky about it. I want people to try it and feel comfortable with the designs that they're creating, not necessarily that you have to do it exactly how I do it. Because I definitely have my own, my own way of doing it that is different than what I was taught. basically just pushing down you can make them smaller larger doesn't matter no, that one didn't work out so hot all right and I'm just gonna do a little little veins little poles now I can just again come out from here I can use my use my uh, little liner brush doesn't really matter it's up to me and I'm going to come down here we're almost done we're getting close I appreciate you sticking with me here if you have any questions or comments please place them down below I'd love to hear from you that down below you can leave that open I'm going to pick up my deer foot stippler again and once again load it the same way I did before you could do it in the reverse if you wanted but I'm just gonna keep it keep it the same as what I did before now I'm gonna just come back up tap on this and yes they can bring up some of the color from underneath that's fine Kind of giving it a neat little look. I'm okay with that. And then do it over here. Just kind of do it in a circular fashion. Fill it all out as much as you can. There you go. And then come back here, do it again. this video if you do make sure you give me a big thumbs up if you're new to my channel please subscribe hit that notification bell and before you leave if you would share this video on your your um, social network just hit the share button underneath the video and I'll give you the options and you have a good one